Hello everyone. Today we'd like to have a look at one of three different ways to plot your 3D designs which you might do in AutoCAD. It's usually quite confusing for new users of AutoCAD. You might be able to, and in this case a very simple model, you might be able to model something up in 3D, a bearing in this case, just something that I copied from a FAG catalog, and there is the bearing. Right. So, we would like to represent this somehow within our <coughs> sheets that we print. And so with our sheets as usual, we just do a layout, we choose a printer and a page size, and we might put a title block on there, something like that. Maybe we go with the AutoCAD plot style, very simple sort of plot settings that you might do in 2D as well. It's just telling the computer how you're going to print this drawing. The first blog that I'm going to do, there's going to be three of them. But the first blog has just got to do with, all right, what can we do with a normal viewport, the typical viewport that you might use in a 2D situation. So imagine if this was not a 3D drawing, but a 2D drawing, then you would be placing a viewport within your sheet and you would print that straightforward because your line types are automatically set to your layers. And so whatever your layers are, they are going to define what something is going to print as, all right? But with a 3D view, that's a little bit different because there are hidden lines and features that need to be represented within that 3D representation. So in that sense, the, the normal viewport, which you will find on the layout tab, there are some, some nice tools that you can here, uh, use here. Under your layout views, for instance, you've got your rectangular, your polygonal, and your object viewports. That might be something like a circle that you can draw. Polygonal and rectangular is the most simple. And you can draw that viewport in whatever uh, size that you would like. You can go into the viewport, you can pan, you can orbit, orientate yourself to some other orientation based on the view cube. You might be wanting to change the top of shading that you're using, whatever it is that you would like to say that is supposed to be realistic, if there were materials attached to that, uh, change your view, etc, etc. <coughs> so that might be something that you would like to do. And of course, under the standard scales, you would see that you can have, say, well, in this case, maybe a, a 2 is to 1, 4 is to 1, 2 is to 1, there's a nice scale on which we can generate that view. We can lock that view exactly the same as what we find in 2D. Now, beyond the visual representation according to the visual style, there's not much that we can do with this unless we go to one of the other tools. But that is a typical viewport. And at best what we can do is enter that viewport and change, say, out to a hidden line view or to a wireframe view. Either 2D or 3D. But you can see it's not really generating generating <coughs> it's not really generating the, the sort of technical drawing that we might be used to if we were doing isometric projection for this component. There is also a bit of an automated setup that you can go through. You could use the settings over here on the layout <coughs> viewport to invoke somewhere in the 3D setup. Let's suppose we had four equal ones. Then for each one of those views, you could change a view to a, to a setup view. Right, so and then also what kind of visual style you would like to use. So let's suppose we, we wanted to have these different views. It's very easy then just to change those out. And you can see what they would be set up to. There's the northeast. Let's try something else, x-ray. One last one. Mm. 
wireframe hidden shaded different sorts of views and you can also use whatever views you might have set up specify the first corner and you can see how it automatically then sets up those views for you and it is quite easy to print from there you'll see that you can change the scale and just like any normal viewport you can then move that around so while while this is great for sort of generating what something might look like it's not the the most technical uh, it's not the most technical process for generating uh, technical drawings like you might do on a typical sort of drafting board where you are drawing hidden lines and you can see <coughs> that this is good for presentation marketing maybe something like that it might even be a rendered image but uh, the 2d process does not really extend itself with normal viewports to 3d in the next blog we're going to have a look at a different method of creating viewports now this would be the solid viewports that was the next iteration or the or the way in which AutoCAD used to handle 3D drawings in the past. We've got our solid view, our solid drawing, and our solid profile. And that is how we used to draw before we got to something called base views. It's good to know the difference and where you can use these and the advantages and disadvantages of, of using that. But it is a bit of a step up from 2D. And Till the next blog we will show you the uh, the solid views and the commands associated with them and their effect enjoy autocad